Shakari Richardson has undeniably established herself as the fastest woman in the world, with her exceptional performances at the World Championships in Budapest. Her blistering speed not only showcases unparalleled running skills, but also demonstrates a fascinating connection to the fundamental principles of physics that underlie many aspects of athletic performance. One such principle is the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred or converted from one form to another. For example, if an absolutely hard ball is dropped onto a perfectly rigid flat surface, it will bounce indefinitely. This scenario represents an idealized situation of perfectly efficient energy transfer, where energy is exchanged back and forth without any loss. While highly desirable for sprinting, this scenario is impossible in real life due to the principles of material science and biomechanics, as all body parts exhibit some degree of deformation and flexibility, leading to energy loss. Nonetheless, it illustrates the importance of optimizing energy transfer to attain higher speed and better speed maintenance. Tendons, on the other hand, express remarkable energy conservation. Returning in an elastic recoil, more than 90% of the work previously done stretching them. If skillfully used, the Achilles tendon and ankle plantar flexors can jointly produce spring-like force several times the body's weight, almost at no energy cost. Shakari Richardson harnesses this elastic strength to its fullest extent, bouncing off the ground as if her legs are powerful pogo sticks. This is made possible by the extraordinary precision of her foot placement, which lands right underneath her center of body mass, allowing her to maintain a stiffer leg and transfer energy with high efficiency, as the line of return force travels directly from her foot to her head. In contrast, her competitors disregard precision in favor of brute effort, thus disrupting the line of force, spilling energy, and eventually decelerating faster. This phenomenon is similar to trampoline jumping, where bending the knees absorbs the energy, abruptly halting the jumper's momentum. Another significant limiting factor in achieving high performance is the efficiency of our muscles, as only 50% of the energy used during muscle contractions is converted into mechanical work while the rest dissipates as heat. Consequently, tense muscles tend to waste excessive energy, demanding precise and minimal use. Shakari Richardson excels at minimizing muscular effort duration through precise relaxation timing and by leveraging the body's elastic properties. Muscles connect to bones through elastic tendons, enabling them to stretch and store energy during contraction, which is released during relaxation causing her arms and legs to swing forward, with minimum energy waste, as if pulled by a spring. That's why, unlike anyone else, she always runs with effortless grace, striving for precise race execution. Such impressive energy efficiency invites a comparison with the unparalleled Flo Jo, who was decades ahead of her time in sprinting prowess. Nevertheless, Flo Jo encountered controversy and skepticism because her skills were simply beyond the grasp of many experts. To justify their skepticism, they believed that the 100-meter world record had strong wind assistance. However, a recently published rare video of the race unmistakably reveals a strong crosswind, providing compelling evidence that no wind assistance was involved, as the wind cannot blow in two directions simultaneously. Given these facts, it is safe to conclude that the world record is legitimate and humanly breakable. Shakari possesses comparable skills to Flo Jo, and when combined with the advantages of technology and improved track conditions, she is in a position of great promise and high potential to surpass it.